Hi, Wilfredo, how are you? Where were you yesterday? What happened? Can hear you. You're muted. I'm sorry. There you go. I'm sorry. Can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you now. Loud and uh, loud and clear. Mm -hmm. Yes, the yes teacher. Yesterday I had some problems with the electrical energy, oh, but okay. everything's okay now. All right. So you had a power outage. Hey, I I was uh, reviewing the the video class. Okay. So and I was watching the the, the topic that you you were uh, you were. I went over. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, and did you understand it? Uh, yes, I understand it. Uh, it was very interesting, uh, the, the vocabulary and the W equations. Yes. That was great. It was very interesting yesterday, teacher, but okay. I am ready for, the, for today's class. Okay, very good. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, today we're going to practice the WH question, uh, what we learned yesterday. We're going to apply those uh, WH questions to some sentences. Uh, uh, those are called uh, information questions, where you request information. Those are not yes, uh, just a yes and no answer. They require you to give some information. Depends uh, what is that you're looking for. So the first step was to know what each uh, WH uh, was uh, were used for. And today we are going to apply uh, what we have learned uh, yesterday. Okay, good teacher. Okay, so I guess you, you are ready, right? Yes, I am. Very good, that, that's, that's the attitude. Always ready. Okay. okay, thank you teacher. All right, and how was work? Uh, work was very hard today because uh, tomorrow we will start the inventory, the annual oh, annual right. inventory. That's, that's and painful. we start today uh, the uh, in the afternoon. Okay. So tomorrow we will continue, and it was it will be very hard for us. I the, know. All 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 the the rest of the week. Yeah, it's a pain in the butt. A pain. Pain in the butt. Ah, yes, yeah. it's something like that. Yeah, <laughs> that is a, a, a idiom used in English to say that, uh, you know, it's very hard. It's a pain in the butt. Pain in the <laughs> yes. Yeah. Ah, okay, and you have to do that every year, huh? Uh, every year uh, on October. October. So you, you uh, sorry, the preposition, the correct preposition is in or on? on. On. On October. Oh, yeah. it was on. okay. In, yes, on, on. But uh, if you say the date is on, but if you just say the month is in. Uh, in October. In October, okay. yes. If you say the uh, October night, 2020, 2021, October 20, in uh, 2020, uh, on to October 2021. If you say the date, then you say on. But if you say only the month, then you say in, like mm. in, in the week, yes. And when you say okay. a day is on, on Friday, on Tuesday, on Saturday. I will try not forget it, teacher, because it is very difficult, the preposition on. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. The more you use it, the, the more natural it becomes. I need to use it uh, more because. Uh, I need to, to to have it in mind because I sometimes I forgot the correct way to use it. <laughs> you forget it. Uh, yes, it's easy to forget. Yeah, remember, if, if it is a date, you use on. If it is With, a month, you use in. Yes, I need to practice more. Uh, this is the reason what I like to talk to you, uh, to talk with you. Okay. Uh, it it uh, helps me to improve and to correct some 
something. Yes, yes, that's that's the way to do it. Uh, the way to practice is uh, with someone who can understand you and can help you with the uh, pronunciation or the grammar part. That's the idea. Teacher. Yes, okay, very good, excellent. Well, nice talking to you, uh, Wilfredo. I'm gonna talk to, uh, let's see, who is there? I have uh, Eric Linares, how are you today? How are you today, Eric? Fine, thank you. Uh, right. Bye, teacher. <laughs> All right, and, and how was work? Uh, fine, fine. <laughs> okay, very good. I'm glad to hear that. Uh, I'm glad to have you in the class. Thank you. All right, and Gomez, how are you today? You look tired, Gomez. You're sleepy, huh? Uh, hello, teacher. Hello, how mm. are you? No sleeping. Uh, Oh, <laughs> all right, all right. The the work. Okay, you just got uh, very, home from work. Very, very tired and okay. so so. <laughs> okay, so you just got the work from. You just got home from work, and you feel very tired. Yes. Oh, okay. Me too. I'm tired too. <laughs> So we're gonna to try to do this one as uh, more dynamic as uh, possible. So you will not uh, fall asleep, <laughs> okay. All right, very good. And uh, Edgar Pineda, how are you today, sir? Good evening, I'm fine. Okay, very Thank good. Thank you, teacher. Excellent, excellent. And tell me, any anything new at work? Yes, uh, I'm working in this weekend. I don't have, uh, when I have uh, more work, I'm very, very tired. I can imagine that, yes, especially this uh, uh, high season. Um, yeah. For airlines, the uh, high season starts what, on, on October, huh? Yes, it's, uh, it's temporary, uh, high temporary, uh, the fly airplanes. And because uh, I need to pre prepare uh, airplanes for dispatch. Uh, yeah. And Just make sure that you tied uh, good enough those nuts. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah, the nuts son los son los tuercas. Y asegúrate que las aprieta bien. Sí. <laughs> the, the, yes, I I tighten the nuts. Yeah, tie them up very very good para que no se vaya a caer yeah. el <laughs> Yeah, okay, very good, excellent. Okay, okay. Um, let's go ahead and start the class today in uh, uh the first thing that I want to talk to you about is uh, uh, about uh, the uh, information question do you have any idea what uh, information question is okay what are information questions that it would be the first uh, uh, introduction that we uh, we're going to do today in a uh, Anybody, do you have any idea what an information question is? Where do you live? Where do you work? Huh? Where do you live? Where do you, where do you work? Okay, that would be that would be an uh, uh, like an example of an information question, but what it is? Uh, it's a type of WH question, and sometimes we use it to request uh, uh, extra information, for example, information that hasn't been mentioned before. Okay, information that hasn't been mentioned before. Yes, so we're looking for something, right? When you, when you ask a WH question, you're looking for something. You're looking for that piece of information that uh, you have not mentioned it in the question. Yeah. So there are two. Uh, there are two uh, types. Uh, let's see. There are 
two types uh, of questions. There are two types of main questions of main questions in the English language. Two types of main questions in the English language, uh, questions that we use the, the most, yeah? So the first one is the, the yes, yes and no questions. Yes, yes and no questions. That is the first uh, main question that exists in the English language. But this type of question is like, uh, it feels like uh, you are interrogating people. So are not good to establish a good relation with uh, anybody uh, becomes uh, uh, obvious when you're asking questions like a yes and no. And uh, is, uh, is uh, too boring. Yes, those are the boring type of question because uh, a, they are always uh, yes and no answer. For example, uh, do you feel good today? Do you feel well today? Yes. Yeah. Uh, did you like the food? Yes, I did. Yes. Do you like a red color? Yes. Yes. So it sounds like too too boring, right? So that's the reason why it's, uh, the yes and no questions are are, uh, are just a. Uh, to open a conversation. We use them to open a conversation. Like, uh, do you like the the uh, uh, the beach? Yes, I do like it. Okay. And uh, um, when you go to the beach, what is the most important thing that you do? Yes, I, do you see that? What? I place the what right there. So the yes and no questions uh, are for me to know what is the, the other person likes. And then from there, then I, uh, uh, elaborate an information question. So the other type is the information question. Information question. So these are the two main types of uh, questions uh, that uh, we use in the English language. The yes and no question type and the information questions. Yeah. So now, and well, we know what our yes and no questions are. Now we are ready to learn about the information question. So let's see what the information questions is. Okay, so for example, let's see, where, where, does, uh, where does Wilfredo, Fredo works? Hmm. Where does Wilfredo work? Yeah. See, this is this is not a yes or no question because I'm requesting the piece of information that I did not mention in the question. What is the piece of information that is missing there? The piece of information that is missing is the name of the company where Wilfredo works. Right? So in this case, uh, Wilfred, where do you work, Wilfred? I work in Root of the Room, or I work in Balsamar Manufacturing. Um, a manufacturing company? Yes, uh, the name is Balsamar Manufacturing. Balsamar? Balsamar Manufacturing. Okay. Uh, with B at the beginning, Balsamar. Yes. Yes, yeah. Balsamar. Balsamar manufacturing uh, factoring yes okay so that is the piece of information that is missing in the question see where does Wilfredo, Wilfredo work uh, and then we're gonna say he work he works at Balsamar manufacturing yes See, if you, if you notice this, this answer is not a yes or no. It's a piece of information. That's the reason why the name of the question is information questions, because we get a piece of information whenever we ask it because we are missing that piece of information, yeah? Okay, for example, where, where does, uh, does Edgar 
live. Yeah. Where where do you live, Edgar? I live in San Salvador. Yes, uh, he lives in San San Salvador. Salvador. Yes. That is the piece of information that I'm looking for. I'm looking the place where he lives. So where does Edgar live? He lives in San Salvador. Yeah. So for example, um, um, I can ask, uh, let's see, I can ask uh, the people that I have over here. I can ask uh, uh, Senia. Yeah, I can say, Senia, how's the weather? like in your neighborhood, Zinnia, 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 yeah, Zinnia. Zinnia con S. Y yo la estoy poniendo con Z de sapo, yes, there we go. <laughs> Zinnia, así me hubiera dicho, teacher, el nombre es con Z de sapo, okay. <laughs> Zinnia, how, is how is the weather? Yeah. How is the weather? Is very hot. It is. It is very hot. Yes. It is. It is very hot. It is very hot. So I live uh, in Quetzaltepeque. Is very hot. Yes, in Quetzaltepeque. The high, the high temperature. Temperature? Temperature, yes. Uh -huh. Temperature. Yes. Okay, so what we need to do is uh, we need to go to the La Toma de Aguilares, uh, Zenia. La Toma de Quesaltepeque. Yeah, La Toma de Quesaltepeque. Oh. <laughs> Not este de teacher, Aguilares. Este teacher no, no sabe dónde vive. ¿Dónde es este teacher? <laughs> Ok, bueno, esa toma que usted está diciendo, hay que ir a esa toma de que Saltepeque. ¿Todavía está bonita ahí o no? Ya no. Yes, uh, the water is very cold. Very? Very cold. Well, oh, very cold. But it's not uh, as cold as uh, los chorros, right? Yes. It is? Yes. Very oh. similar. Similar. Cold, cold as los chorros? Yes. As cold as the shore, shore. Okay, very good. I like it. I like it. I like cold weather. <laughs> okay, Zinia is uh then how is the weather? So she said it is very hot. Okay, so that is the piece of information that I was I was looking for. I was missing. And if, if you can see that uh, very hot was not mentioned in the question. So, like uh, uh Wilfredo says that uh, yes, uh uh, information questions are the questions that uh, we uh, elaborate to get a piece of information, the piece of information that uh, we are not uh, we are not mentioning. For example, if I don't know Edgar's name, uh, what is your name? I will say, what is your name? Yeah, and Edgar will say. And Edgar will say, and Edgar will say, your name, my name is, yes, Edgar. There we go, Edgar. My name is Edgar. So that is the information that I was looking for. So information questions are questions that we elaborate to get some information, information, a piece of information that was not mentioned in the question. All right. So any question about what the information questions are? No? Okay. So those are straightforward. Uh, those are the type of questions that we're going to be seeing on the exercise that we are going to uh, practice uh, today. So let's go to the uh, reading practice and see um, if we can finish the uh, exercise that we were working on yesterday. So 
Uh, let's see, this is the last thing we did yesterday. I don't know if you remember, um, we were talking about companies, uh, branches and headquarters, and there was a, a, a homework for today, right? Uh, where we are going to be bringing uh, companies name, branches and headquarters. So let me hear from uh, Edgar Pineda. What do you have on this one, Edgar? Excuse me? What do you have on this uh, part? Uh, of the uh, exercises. Uh, okay, the companies is a name. The the and for example, um, in my work, uh, I remain. Mm -hmm. And branches and and Jacksonville. Okay. And headquarters and in Salvador. The Ironman, the headquarters in Salvador? Yeah. Mm. Oh. Teacher. Yes. Está proyectando algo. Sí, estoy proyectando el, 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 el libro. Ah, es que yo no lo veo. Me voy a salir, me voy a volver a meter. Es solo él no lo ve o todos ustedes no lo ven. Espérate. Sí, lo estamos viendo. Sí, lo estamos viendo. Oh, ok. Entonces sí tienen que volver a salir, a meter. Ok. Ah, okay. Ayer les quedó que iban a investigar unas compañías y, y las branches y las headquarters. Pero headquarters a, a Edgar es, es la main office. Entonces yo creo que de Aeroman la main office no está aquí en El Salvador. I think the main office is in other part. And the main office and the MRO holdings is the El Salvador. Uh -huh. Yeah. Aunque usted no lo crea. <laughs> Aeroman? Yeah. Pero si Aeroman es, es norteamericano? Eh, con dueño salvadoreño. Sí. Yeah. Okay. Roberto Cri. Okay. Ok. Eh, de, eh, como empresa, eh, bueno, es salvadoreño, eh, uh -huh. del dueño, y tiene sus, sus holdings en México y uh -huh. en Estados Unidos. Uh -huh. Entonces, pero la, la principal y, y la que, digamos, les da trabajo a las demás en, en El Salvador. Ok, so, entonces es una compañía salvadoreña. Sí. Okay, 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 very good. Eh, Senia, uh, aprendemos con todos los días. Yeah. Okay, eh, Glasgow International. Okay. Eh, the, uh, ONG. Okay. Eh, branches in Central America. Okay. Guatemala, Honduras. Eh, Ciudad Delgado. No. Colombia. <laughs> okay, very good. Uh -huh. Estados Unidos. Okay. The headquarters is in, in San Salvador. Salvador. Oh, también es salvadoreña esa. Yes. Oh, yes. Okay, very good. Oh, my goodness. I'm learning a lot. Okay, very good. Thank you. And uh, Gomez? What is the Teacher. company name? Uh, Talleres Arti. Okay. Uh, I work. Uh, I work in his quarter. Okay, pero dónde está la compañía? El nombre de la compañía, the branches y la headquarters. Sí tiene. The branches no tiene. It doesn't have branches. Okay. No, no I branches. No branches. Okay. Uh, uh -huh. uh, my company uh, I work. Okay, so the headquarters están aquí. Yes. Uh, aquí están. Sí. San, San Salvador. San Salvador. Yes. Sí, San Salvador. Uh, sí, aquí en San Salvador. Okay. okay. Here. Here. Okay, very good. Excelente. Okay, thank you. And uh, let's see. 
Eh, César, Manfredi. Eh, alimentos mur o sarán. Okay. Alimentos mur, eh, we, we don't have uh, branches. Eh, the headquarters is a kilometer siete eh, carretera de Sonate. Okay. En Son Sonate. That's mm -hmm. the headquarters. Okay, very good. Excellent. Yes. Um, Wilfredo, ¿te pudiste traer algo tú o no? O algo que digas. Yes, it's your, um, Okay. The company is Fruit of the Loom. The branches uh, are in Honduras, El Salvador, and Mexico. Okay. And the headquarter is in the United States. Okay, headquarters in the United States, and they have branches in Central America. Central America, yes. Correct. Okay, very good. Excelente. Uh, Maria de Jesus Martinez. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? Very nice, teacher. Thank you. Uh, okay, can you tell me what is uh, the company that you want to talk about? Um, uh, I'm, I'm talking about Walmart. Walmart, okay. Yes, Walmart have, has uh, branches, so many many countries on America, uh -huh. and the headquarters is in the United States. United States, yes. Uh -huh. Okay, very good. Uh, so it has uh, all over the world, they have uh, branches. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes? No, I'm asking okay. you. I'm asking you. Yes. Because you're the one who did the uh, research, so you know more than me. Okay, very good, excelente. Eh, Sandra Benitez. Sandra, no Sandra. Sandra no está, Sandra se fue. Eric Linares. No. Giovanni Alexander Ramos Jiménez. No, Edwin Rodriguez. Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you today? I am fine. Okay, so can you tell me what is uh, the company that you are going okay. to? Okay. The company is, is Diana. Okay, Diana. The branches is Central America, Guatemala, Panama, Honduras. Okay. And the headquarter is San Salvador. Headquarters is San Salvador. It is in, in Ilopango or Soyapango? No estoy seguro ahí. No. Soyapango. Sí, Soyapango. Soyapango, ¿verdad? Sí, ahí he visto la headquarters yo en, en, en Soyapango. Okay, very good. So the uh, exercise, uh, basically, what the exercise was the objective for the exercise was for you to learn the company branches and headquarters. If you know the difference between the branches and headquarters, you, you, you had made it, okay? So that, that was basically the, the goal for this exercise, for you to recognize what are branches and what are headquarters and the names of the company, okay? So very good, good job. Okay, yesterday we were talking about uh, industry. Do you remember what is an industry? Anybody? Hello? Can you repeat? Yes. Do Thank you sir. remember? Yesterday we were talking about uh, industries. Do you remember what an industry is? By the type of good they produced. Yes. Uh, we say that it was a category of an economic, of economic activity. activity. Yes, that is an industry. And uh, the other question was, uh, how is an industry defined? And is what you just said, uh, Senia, is defined by the type of goods. What were goods? Que dijimos que eran goods? Uh, products or service. Yes, uh, products or services, yes. So over here we have a 10, uh, products and 10 uh, industries. So what we're gonna do is we are going to match 
the numbers with the letters. So each uh, number corresponds to. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué, qué va? Esto. ¿Qué pasó? Uh, Perdón. Oh my goodness. Lo siento. Eso, eh, ok. Entonces, de eso tenemos los numbers. Vamos a empezar con eh, number one. It's about uh, banks. What do you think the industry for banks is? Letter, 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 e, the finance, finance industry. industry. Okay, so it would be the finance industry, right? It would be right here. Finance industry. So finance industry will be uh, the banks. Yes, you're right. Okay, let's see soft drinks. The beverage industry. Yes. Uh, Number. Beverage industry. beverage industry. Very good. Guided tours. The tour tourist industry. The tourist yes. industry. Tourism. 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 Yeah, tourism industry. Very good. What about the cardboard boxes? Who remember what a cardboard is? ¿Quién se acuerda que es un cardboard? Cartón. Cartón, cartón. cartón yes. Uh, entonces podemos ca cantar ya la casa de cartón en inglés, ¿verdad? <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. Uh, let's see. So the cardboard boxes, what industry is that? The, the packaging, packaging. packaging industry. Packaging industry, yes, packaging industry, very good. Now let's see, buildings, what is a building? Edificios. Yes, construction, edificio, building. And what is the industry for buildings? Letter B, the construction industry. Yes, construction industry. Construction. Yes, construction industry, very good, excellent. Now we have uh, mobile phones. Letter G. Telecommunication industry. industry. Yes, telecommunication industry. Very good. Oh my goodness, you guys are very smart. Okay, medicine. The pharmaceutical, the pharmaceutical industry. industry. Yeah, the pharmaceutical industry. Very good, excellent. Car components. Letter F, the automotive. Automotive. Yes. Industry. Automotive. 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 Automotive, automotive industry. Automotive. Yes. Automotive. automotive industry. Yes. Automotive. Yes. Very good. No diga automotive. Automotive. <laughs> yes. Automotive. <laughs> yes. Como la como que la uno existiera. Automotive. Okay. Automotive um, industry. Um, yes. Okay, very good. And we have uh, two left. We have yeah, hair salon yeah. services. The letter A, the beauty and personal car industry. Yes, the beauty and personal care industry. Yes. Very good. That, and that clothes. Yes. What is uh, clothes? Textile industry. industry. Te textile. Textile. Yes, textile industry. Repítalo todo porque esa, esa no va no van a decir textile, ¿verdad? Iba a decir, el teacher dijo que se decía textile. No, textile. <laughs> yes. yes, acuérdense que el inglés es como nadar, acuérdense. Si no se mete el agua... No aprende a nadar. Si no lo repite, no aprende mm -hmm. a hablar. Textile. Textile. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cuando usted le está enseñando a su, a su niño que empieza a hablar, a decir las palabras, ¿cómo le dice? Repita para mí. Cama. Ama, dice. Ama. Cama. Ama, ama, ama. ama. Yes. Cama. Mer, 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 mer. Comer, dice usted. Y el niño, mer, mer, mer. Y él sigue, ¿verdad? Así es como aprendemos. Es que eso quiero que, que repita. Ok, vamos a ver. 
Eh, esta sería banks. No voy a decir banks. Es banks. Digamos. Banks. 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 No, no banks. 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 Yes. Banks. Yes. Banks. Soft drinks. Soft drinks. Yes. Guided tours or guided tours. Guided tours. tours. Yeah. Cardboard boxes. Cardboard, cardboard boxes. Cardboard boxes. Buildings. 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 Yes. No es No es buildings. buildings. No. Buildings. Building. Mm -hmm. Building. Yes, building. Very good. Buildings. Mobile phones. Mobile, mobile phones. phones. Mobile phones. Yes. Medicine. 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 Very good. Car components. Car, Car components. components. Hair. Salon services. Hair salon, Hair salon service. Service. Services. Yes. Services. Service. Very good. Services. And clothes. Clothes. No clothes. clothes. No diga clothes. It's clothes. 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 La TH es como una Z. Clothes. Yes. Clothes. Clothes. El sonido de la Z lo hace como, como que es una, una mosca. Clothes. Clothes. Ok. Very good. Ahora vamos a ver las, las oraciones esta. The beauty and personal care industry. Repitamos. The beauty and personal care industry. The beauty and personal industry. Yeah. The construction industry. The construction industry. And no diga construction. Construction industry. Construction. Construction. The textile industry. The textile industry. Yeah. The telecommunication industry. The telecommunication industry. No industry. 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 Yes. The finance industry. The finance, the finance industry. industry. The armor automotive industry. The, the automotive industry. industry. No uh, industry. No industry. 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 Yes. industry. The packaging industry. The packaging, the packaging, the packaging industry. industry. The beverage industry. The, the beverage, beverage industry. industry. Yeah. Beverage. The tourism industry. The tourism the, industry. The tourism industry. Very good, Cesar. Se yo muy bien. Tourism industry. Very good. Tourism. No, no tourist, no senior. Tourism. Tourism. La yeah. M hay que pronunciar. La, la M, okay. yes. Tourism industry. Tourism. Tourism. Mm -hmm. Yeah, tourism industry. Tourism. Tourism. No, tourism. 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 Mm. Mm. Tourism. Yes. ¿Sabe qué? Lo Tourism. que le recomiendo es que usted está casada, ¿verdad, Cine? No, no, ya no. Entonces no puede. Le iba a decir que se pusiera enfrente de su esposa y dijera, mmm, mmm. Sí. <risa> Pero como no, no va a poder. Entonces, que... <risa> enfrente del espejo tiene que ponerse. Yes. <risa> para hacer hacerlo? ejercicio no, no necesita mi esposo. <risa> Solo no, mi esposo. Para que decir, mmm, para decir, mmm, yes. Ahí, tourism, yes, very good. Tourism industry. 
the pharmaceutical industry. The pharmaceutical, no, pharmaceutical industry. industry. Very good. Excellent. Good job. Okay. Alguna pregunta de alguna pronunciación de estas, uh, este vocabulario? Okay. Now, let's see. This is uh, an exercise that uh, is uh, it's like uh, where we can practice the writing. Okay, we're gonna practice the writing. And uh, I want you to look at the example and uh, do the rest of the sentences exactly, but in a different, uh, uh, with a different products. For example, it says, the instructions are, write a sentence to describe the expertise in the industrial classification. Expertise is what they produce in the industrial classification of the businesses below. Share your sentences with a partner. In this case, you're gonna share it with the class. So the example that they gave us is, this is the refresh and leave. So we know that refresh is about the uh, drinks, right? So the information they are giving us is at refresh and leave, we distribute soft drinks, okay? So because we already know that uh, refresh is about drinks. So they say at refresh and leave, we distribute soft drinks. And then the other sentence is we are in the beverage beverage industry. So you're gonna tell us what is the business about and what is the industry of that business, okay? So let's try and we're gonna work uh, um, them all together. So let's try to do the rest of them. So there are the four sentences that we are going to make. So go ahead, let's take um, uh, five or seven minutes to make those sentences, okay? Go ahead. Vamos a, a tomar unos cinco o, o siete minutos para hacer estas oraciones, ¿ok? Entonces, el ejemplo que sigue, así como es el ejemplo, así vamos a hacer las otras oraciones.
Okay, let's uh, see what do we have. Uh, we are going to start with uh, Wilfredo. What is your... Um, uh, fix, uh, fix and care. Fix and uh, care. So uh, fix and care, what do you think the industry of fix and care is about? Uh, the the answer are will vary. Okay, so it will not be the same answer that you will, you will have, all of you. Some of you will think, okay, this is care about skin, beauty. Yeah, or some, some will say, okay, fix is about cars. Yeah, <laughs> something like that, right? Uh, in, my, in that case, that's my answer, teacher. I write fix and care. Okay. At fix and care, we, ca we take care of your car. We are in in the automotive industry. Okay. Yes. There we go. Yes. If, uh, so at uh, fix and care, we take care of your car, and we are in the automotive industry. Very good. Excellent. Teacher, at, at the at the first look, it sounds like a, um, a skincare. But yeah, if skincare. you uh, anal analyze the, the the two words uh -huh. to, to repair to repairs. Yes, there you go. Mm -hmm. Fix and care. Yeah, very good. All right. Um, now let me hear uh, with enjoying travel. If I can have Senia, Judith, Peña, Diaz, enjoy and travel. If you say enjoy, um, it's like, uh, okay, Disfrutar, ¿verdad? And travel is, is viajar. Entonces, uh, what do you think is enjoy and travel? At enjoy and travel, we have travel package Very for good. new adventures. Mm -hmm. We are in the tourism mm, <laughs> industry. Mm, there we go. You see, you learn. <laughs> yeah, very good. Tourism industry. Yes, very good. Excellent. Good job. Good job. Okay. Now let's see if, uh, uh, good job. Let's see if I can have Edgar Pineda doing a business bank. Uh, a business bank. Uh, uh, business bank for the finance, finance uh, industry. Okay. Only that. No, son tres partes. Acuérdense, tienen que mm -hmm. cumplir con esas tres partes. Primero es describe the expertise. Yes. And industrial classification. Entonces, no me he dicho la industrial classification. ¿Qué es una industrial classification? Ver en qué industria está posicionada esa compañía. Entonces, si usted dice business bank, usted va a decir at business bank y usted va a decir que, cuál es el, el expertise. Mm, ok, at uh, business bank, uh, the, we, we are in the finance industry. Sí, y, o sea, mira, fíjate esto acá. Eh, Fíjate esto acá, es lo que te voy a enseñar aquí, permíteme. Será. Just a second. Fíjate, esto acá, ves que la, la, la palabra o la, la compañía es refresh and leave. Yeah. Okay. Entonces dicen at refresh and leave. Entonces tú dirías at business bank. Y aquí dice cuál es el expertise. Mira, si te fijas aquí, dice cuál es el expertise. Entonces tú tienes que mencionar eso. ¿Cuál es el expertise de eh, Business Bank? Entonces, uh, uh, puedes uh, mencionar que el expertise es como hacer uh, loans. ¿sí? O we help you to get your new house. We help you to get uh, your new, your dream car. Yes at uh, business bank. Y luego aquí dices cuál es el, la industria que ellos están. 
Entonces, si agarraste car, fíjate aquí, teníamos banks. ¿Sí te fijas aquí? Banks. Y entonces, ¿cuál era la industria de ellos? The finance industry. Ok, finance industry. Yes, the finance industry. Eso es lo que va a ir aquí en el, en el último, acá. Yeah. Eso es lo que vas a tener aquí en lo último, acá. Mm -hmm. Sí, entonces son tres partes, fíjate. At, la compañía, ah. expertise y la industry. Entonces, eso es así como tiene que tener el formato, la respuesta de este business bank. Ok. Eh, entonces sería uh, business bank. Yeah, very good. We, yes. we get a new house. We help you to get your new house. Esa es la expertise, si lo vas a poner de esa manera. Uh, ok. We help you to get... We help you get a new house. Y there we go. Yes. Ahora, la industria. We are, que, uh -huh. we are uh, the finance industry. We are in. We are in the finance industry. We are in the finance industry. Yes. Very good. Excellent. Good job. Okay. Let's see. Uh, Maria Jesus Ramirez, the Sun Resort. The Sun Resort. Okay. Okay, at the Sun Resort, we have the most luxury rooms. We are on the hotel industry. Wow, my goodness. As a, yeah, si, si se, se pone mejor, se arruina, uh, Maria Jesus. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Very good. So you, you gave me the three parts of the, uh, um, the sentence. Uh, the name of the company, the expertise, and the industry that uh, that the company belongs be, belongs to very good excellent okay so para mañana for tomorrow el 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 homework pero háganlo please porque cuando pide el homework no me lo no, no me lo no, no lo han hecho y es parte de eh, la participación de la clase so para mañana tomorrow we are going to you are going to prepare a uh, one minute uh, conversation. Uh, puede ser 30 second conversation, yeah? Or 15 seconds conversation. Pero hágalo. Prepare a two minute conversation about your company. Ese es algo de que usted conoce, yes? No algo que usted no conoce. It's going to be about your company. What you're going to do? You are going to describe the company expertise. Lo que acabamos de hacer ahorita, se, ve lo que acabamos de hacer ahorita. Company's expertise is we distribute soft drinks. Entonces usted va a ver cuál es la expertise de su company. ¿ya? Y luego me va a mencionar what is the industry a que la compañía belongs to. So you're going to say the industry will be like a, we are in the cardboard industry o alguno, ¿verdad? Um, it's industrial classification in the location. Entonces, todas esas cosas usted la va a mencionar en su, en su 30 seconds o, o one minute presentation. The headquarters, branches, and where it operates. ¿Ya? Yeah? Entonces, vamos a usar use the model conversation in exercise two. Entonces, usted va a usar este modelo, este modelo de conversación. I go over here. Yes. Este es el modelo de conversación que usted va a usar. Por ejemplo, eh, uh, Good evening, my name is, uh, 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 por decirlo así, Sandra Benítez. Yeah. And today I will be uh, giving you or presenting information about the company where I work. Yeah. Y va a empezar. We manufacture or we uh, provide services. Y dice para qué es, ¿verdad? Okay, and, uh, um, we have branches in so and so and so departments, and the headquarters is in uh, Santa Ana, and um, we export or import products to other countries where we also have some branches. Yeah, eso es lo que eh, de eso se va a tratar eh, la presentación mañana. Es una presentación, okay? Quiere decir que eh, practíquela. 
para que no lo va a estar leyendo y se va a equivocar. Practique esa presentación. Va a tener describe the company's expertise. Va a describir de qué eh, es la, o sea, la experiencia o, o el ex, en qué se, se, su compañía se dedica, qué se dedica a hacer. Y eso es el ex, expertise. ¿Ya? Yeah. Ok, entonces esas tres cosas, la industria, where it belongs to, expertise y headquarters, branches, and where it operates. Uh, todas esas cosas vamos a estar um, asegurándonos que las, las incluye en su presentación. ¿Alguna pregunta de lo que se va a hacer mañana? No, ok, pero lo hace, ok, do it, do it. No vaya a venir, no vaya a venir eh, no preparado. Si no va a estar mañana, me envía por WhatsApp, me envía un audio con su presentación. Teacher, this is my presentation. Y me envía el audio y lo quiero escuchar a ver cómo, cómo, cómo se desenvuelve, ¿ok? Entonces, si no va a estar en clase, if you're not going, if you won't be able to come to class, uh, send me the audio uh, en our, the, our WhatsApp group, ¿ok? So, ¿estamos bien ahí? Ok, very good. Ok, entonces, uh, let's uh, continue. And uh, what we're going to do is we are going to introduce the personal providing the information about their position. Yes, entonces, eh, el personal de, es de una compañía es the people who work in that company, personnel, ¿eh? Yeah? Personal. Y el personal era algo belongs to you o belongs to you, your friends or your, your no, you, you're the most important person in your life. So that's a personal. And this is personnel. Okay. Do you usually receive business guests in your workplace? What is a guest? Who can tell me what a guest is? Invitado. Yes, uh -huh. do you usually receive a business guest? In este caso sería de negocio, ¿verdad? Personas de negocio, o sea, personas que llegan a hablar acerca del negocio. Uh, to your workplace, do you enjoy welcoming guests? Yes, welcome to our company. Welcome to um, Walmart company. Yes. Uh, okay, so eso sería el, el, el welcoming, ¿verdad? Y why? Why do you get so excited when uh, a guest visits uh, your plant or your company or your office? Yeah, there must be something that makes you feel the, uh, 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 happy when, the, when those people visit uh, your, com your company. Now, what we're going to do is that we're going to listen to your teacher. In this case is me. <laughs> Read the conversation. Then you will practice with a partner. Yes, it's what we always do. And... Uh, uh, this is Mrs. Uh, Tate. Mrs. Tate arrived to a restaurant. So, el lugar de, de trabajo va a ser un restaurant. She will train the personnel. Yes. She's a trainer. So, she, her job is to train people and she's coming to the uh, uh, Tate restaurant to train the personnel. And Mr. John is the owner. The owner is el dueño de la compañía, ¿verdad? The owner. And uh, welcomes, welcomes her. So the owner welcomes her. De eso se va a tratar la conversación. Says, uh, there's a Mrs. Tate and Mr. John. Hello, good morning. Are you Mr. John? Yes, I am. I am Miss Tate. I'm the trainer. Nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you, Miss Tate. Let me introduce the staff. This is Mario. He's the branch manager and this is Leo. So, it just says introduce the person and also the position. What is uh, uh, the, the Mario's position? Branch he's manager. manager. He's a branch manager. So remember, when you introduce someone, a personnel, you introduce them by their name and the position they are to, they are in charge of. So this is a this is Mario. He is the branch manager, and this is Leo. 
Welcome. Nice to meet you, dice Mario. Nice meeting you. Eh, cuando usted contesta el saludo, o sea, cuando dice gusto de conocerte, gusto de conocerte también, puede decir nice meeting you o nice to meet you too. Yes. Nice meeting you es cuando usted ya, ya no va a hablar con esa persona, sino que se está como despidiendo, ¿verdad? Nice to meet you para empezar y nice meeting you para despedirse. Entonces, uh, Miss State dice, nice meeting you, Mario. Nice to meet you, Leo. What do you do? La palabra, what do you do? ¿Qué es lo que ando buscando? ¿Cómo se llama ese tipo de, de preguntas? Information question. Information question. Thank you very much. Se llama information question. I want to know what uh, his job is or his expertise. They say, what do you do? Nice to meet you. I am in charge of the kitchen staff. Yeah? So it's a manager of the kitchen, right? Nice to meet you. I am in charge of the kitchen staff. Puede también decir, I am responsible of the kitchen staff. Okay. It's a great, um, Mr. John. What does the girl over there do? Yes, over there is uh, yeah, right? She's Nisa. She's in charge of purchases. Yes. So, también se puede decir así, in charge of purchases or responsible of purchases. Okay, purchases is compras. Yeah, en las compras, no ventas. Okay, she's, she's Nisa. She's in charge of purchases. Okay, so aquí lo que estamos aprendiendo, what we are learning is how to introduce people in their position in the workplace. So we are introducing the personnel of a company. Any question regarding to this uh, conversation? No? Okay, what we're gonna do is uh, I'm gonna call roll and then we are going to take a break and when we come back from break, we're gonna start the reading, okay? So let's uh, start uh, with the uh, roll. Uh, Carlos Antonio Rosales Flores. No, Carlos is not here. Cesar Menfredi Cervellón Sanchez. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. And uh, Edgar Edmir Pineda, Pineda? Present. Thank you. Edwin Alexis Rodriguez. Present. Thank you. Edgar Edemir Pineda. Present. Okay. And Emerson Eli Moreira Lopez. Present teacher. Okay. And Eric Armando Flores Linares. Present teacher. Thank you. Esmeralda Noemi Lopez. Okay. And uh, Giovanni Alexander Romar Ramos. Present teacher. Thank you. Emer Alberto Sanchez. Present teacher. Thank you. Jacobo de Jesus Gomez Gomez. Present teacher. Thank you. Jonathan Salvador Zavala. Okay. And Jorge Alberto Rellana Martinez. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, sir. Eh, Julia Margarita, no. Eh, Maria Jesus Martinez. Present. Okay, thank you. Mario Osvaldo Martinez. Present. Thank you. Melissa. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Sandra Janet. Present. Thank you. Senia Judith Peña. And uh, Wilfredo Antonio Luna. Present. Present. Thank you. Yes. Senia, are you there? Present. Okay, thank you. All right, let's take a 10 minutes break and we're coming back at uh, 9.14. Enjoy your break, enjoy your cup of coffee. Okay. All right. Thank you. 
Hello. Hello, teacher. Hey, Wilfredo, how are you? Long time hey. not seeing you. Hey, teacher, um, you really ought to, uh, you really ought to teach me some charts. You play the guitar very good. Oh, <laughs> I was I, sorry. I, I, I was teach, listening. I teach, uh, I teach music at the Alcaldía on Wednesdays and, and Fridays. So I was practicing a, a song, well, the introduction for a, a song that uh, they would be playing for the end of the year. Well, they're gonna play six songs. So they have to do the introductions and the, uh, and the, uh, uh, the singing for the song. So that's, that's the reason I was practicing. <laughs> Playing guitar is very relaxing. Sometimes. It is, yes, yes. Every time I, I want to do something, I just, uh, you know, play the guitar or I have a, a saxophone too. I play the, the, the piano, the guitar, the drums, the bass guitar and a trumpet. 
And when you are playing them, you forgot the, your troubles in that moment. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's a different, it's a different uh, uh, world. You get into a different world, so, world, so it's, it's a good therapy. <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah. Okay, let's see if we can um, begin with the class in uh, just a second. So we are going to do the, the reading. In this case, since you're the only one over here, so I'm going to be Tate and you are going to be uh, uh, young, okay? So okay. you're going to say hello, good morning. Are, are you Mr. Machuca? You, I'm going to say yes, I am. Okay. Okay, good. Um, hello, good morning. Are you Mr. Machuca? Yes, I am. I'm Mr. Luna. I'm the trainer. Nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you, uh, Mr. Luna. Let me introduce the staff. Uh, this is uh, Senia. Uh, she is the branch manager, and this is uh, Sandra Benitez. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you. Uh, well, th in this case, it was uh, we have three people, right? The Mrs. Tate, Young, Tate, Young, and Mario. So Senia is going to be Mario. Help us, Senia, please. Yes. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Okay, nice meeting you, uh, uh, Senia. Nice, uh, nice to meet you, Leo. Was uh, Leo was another person? Nice to meet you, Sandra. What do you do? In this case, uh, Sandra is, is going to answer, right? Uh, but are you there, Sandra? No. Okay, I guess we are going to. Uh, Pick someone else. Ah, uh, Edwin. Edwin. Okay. So we have Sandra. We have uh, Senia. We have uh, Edwin. So Edwin, you're gonna help us, okay? Okay. Okay. So you are Leo, but you you you're the Edwin, and uh, and Senia is gonna be Mario. Okay. 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 Uh, Let's start, uh, Wilfredo. Uh, from the beginning. Yes, you're Tate, I credit you're Tate, I'm John. Okay, no problem. Uh, so, uh, hello, good morning. Are you Mr. Machuca? Yes, I am. Uh, I am Mr. Luna. I am the trainer, nice to meet you. Ah, uh, hello, the, nice to meet you, uh, Mr. Luna. Let me introduce the staff. This is uh, Senia. She is the branch manager, and this is uh, Edwin. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you, um, Senia. Senia. Nice to meet you, uh, Edwin. Edwin. What do you do? Edwin. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm in chair of the kitchen staff. Charge. Great. Charge. Charge. Yes, I'm in charge of the kitchen staff. Yes. Go ahead. Great. Uh, um, Mr. Machuca, what does the girl over there do? Oh, como no dice nada de Sandra. Sandra, no sabemos si está ahí. Oh, she's uh, Sandra. She's in charge of uh, purchases. Okay, very good. Ahora vamos a tener a uh, Senia. Va a ser eh, Tate y tú vas a ser uh, Mario. Ok. Uh, Edwin se queda el mismo, Leo. Ok. Y yo voy a ser eh, Young. ¿Está bien? Siempre. Mm. Hello. Good morning. Are you Mr. Machuca? Yes, I am. I am me. Miss Senia, I am that I am the trainer. Nice to meet you. Hello, nice to nice to meet you, uh, Miss uh, um, Diaz. Let me introduce the staff. This is uh, Wilfredo. 
He's uh, the branch manager, and this is Edwin. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you, Wilfredo. Nice to meet you, Edwin. What do you do? Nice to meet you. I'm in share of the kitchen staff. Charge. One day, charge. 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 Okay. Charge is nice to meet you. Day. Nice to meet you. Okay. I'm in charge of the kitchen staff. Okay. Great. Oh, Mr. Machuca. Machuca. No es apodo, es mi, mi apellido. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Oh, Mr. Machuca. What does the girl over there do? Oh, she is, uh, dijimos que ella era senior, ¿verdad? No. <laughs> ella es, ya se fue, ya se nos fue. Sandra Benítez. Vamos a ver, Sandra. Oh, she's uh, Sandra. She is in charge of purchases. Okay. Okay, ahora toca a Edwin. Edwin va a ser Tate. Y, uh, y de, usted va a ser Leo, ok, en este caso. Y, y Wilfredo sigue siendo uh, uh, Mario. Mario, yes. Uh -huh. Ok, ¿quién es John? Yo. More. Ah, ok, ok. More. <laughs> Hello, good morning. Are you Mr. Machuca? Yes, I am. I'm Mr. Rodriguez. Rodriguez. I'm the trainer. Nice to meet you. Trainer. 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 Okay. I am is Rodriguez. I'm the trainer. Nice to meet you. Oh, hello. The, nice to meet you, Mr. Rodriguez. Let me introduce the staff. This is uh, Wilfredo. He is the branch manager, and this is Senia. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, Wilfredo. Nice to meet you. Senia. 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 What do you do? Nice to meet you. I am in charge of the kitchen staff. Great. Oh, Mr. Machuca. Yes. What does the girl over there do? Yes. What does the girl, girl? The girl, the girl. Yes. Over there okay. do. Great. Mr. Machuca, what does the girl over there, do oh, she's a um, uh, 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 Sandra Benitez. Yes, she is uh, Sandra, she is in charge of purchases. Okay, very good. You guys did a wonderful job. Just uh, let me write uh, this word for you, uh, Edwin. Uh, I'm going to help you with the uh, pronunciation of this uh, girl. And uh, once you know the first one, you're gonna be able to uh, manage the rest of it. Let me see. Just a second. Can you see the board, Edwin? Puedes ver la 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 pizarra? Yes. Okay. Okay. Estas estas palabras que te voy a escribir aquí tienen la misma pronunciación de la i. Okay. Girl. Mm. Ok, la I en este caso se ve como una E. Entonces, eh, lo vas a decir así. Third. Third y girl. Yeah. Girl. Girl. Eh, cuando digas a esta, no se dice girl ni third. Se dice third y girl. Girl. Yeah. Y esta se le, no se pronuncia, sino que es solo girl, girl. Yeah. Ok. Para que hagas la pronunciación correcta de eso. Yeah. 
Es como cuando dices uh, esta también, la misma. Bird. Bird. Sí, se, se pone bird. ¿Ya? Yeah. Bird. Esta también. Skirt. 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 Yeah. No dice skirt. Sino que skirt. Ok, Elvi. Ok, ok. Ok, very good. Excelente. Eso te va a ayudar bastante. Si lo practicas, te va a ayudar bastante. Ok, entonces, uh, I'm going to step out. Me voy a salir yo del grupo y les voy a poner a eh, César. Va a estar César y Gómez. Emerson, are you there? Yes, sir. Ok, entonces, uh, César uh, Gómez, Emerson y uh, que les ayude Wilfredo, ok vamos a ver, voy a escuchar el diálogo entre ustedes, tres, cuatro ¿Pero ¿quién va a ser quién? Uh, ok uh, César is gonna be mistake I'm gonna be Mr. Young and who else teacher? Eh, Gómez. Gómez. Oh, Jaco is going to be um, Mario. Mario. Y tenés well, Emerson. Emerson. Yeah. Emerson is going to be Leo. Leo. Okay. okay, okay ready? Uh, are you ready? Okay. Hello. Um, Yes, sorry, sorry. Okay. Uh, Excuse me. Let, let me know. Who, who is, uh, okay. You, who is Mr. Young? You will be Mr. Young. Okay. You are going to be Mr. Young. Okay. Uh, let's start. Okay. Uh, hello, hello. Good morning. Hello. Good uh, morning. Are you Mr. Luna? Uh, yes, I am. I am I am Cesar, uh, Mr. Cesar. I am the training nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you, Mr. Cervellón. Uh, let me introduce the staff. This is uh, Jacob. He is the branch manager, and this is. Uh, Who is the other Emerson, teacher? Emerson. Ah, and this is Emerson. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you, um, Jacob. Nice, ah, nice meeting you, Jacob. Uh, nice to meet you, um, Emerson. Emerson. What do you do? Nice to meet you. I am chair of the right. kitchen staff. Great. Uh, great. Um, great. Uh, uh, Mr. Luna, what does the what does uh, the the boy the boy over there do? The girl. The girl. The girl. Ah. Well. Hey. Okay, what does the, the girl over there do? Oh, he, oh, he is, Senia, Senia. she is, sorry, sorry, sorry. She is, Senia, she is in charge of purchases. Our purchases, yes, oh. very good. Excellent, good job. Ahora, cambian the roles. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna be Mario. Are you going to be Mr. Young? Uh, okay. Uh, Emerson? Yeah. I'm going to be um, Miss State. Okay. Okay. Uh, so yeah. Hello. Good morning. Are you Mr. Who is John? Yes, I am. I am Mr. Emerson. 
I am the trainer. Nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you, uh, Mr. Emerson. Emerson. Uh, let me introduce this the the staff the staff. Uh, this is Jacob, and he is the branch manager. And this is uh, Wilf uh, Wilfredo. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice meeting you. Uh, ¿Cuál era el nombre? Uh, nice, nice meeting you, Jake, Jacob. Nice to meet you, Jacob. Alfredo, what do you do? Nice to meet you. I am in charge of the kitchen staff. Great. Oh, uh, Mr. Uh, Alfredo. What does the girl over there do? Uh, she is uh, Sandra. She is a charge of purchase. Purchases. Purchase. Purchases. 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 Yeah, purchases. Okay. Um, en este caso, aquí, vean, cuando nosotros decimos Mr., ya, por ejemplo, my name is uh, Vidal Antonio. Uh, Machuca, yes, ese es mi nombre, ¿ya? Yeah? Entonces, cuando yo uso la palabra, el title, title se llama el, 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 el mister. El name. Mister, yeah. yes. Entonces, ese es el title, el mister, cuando ponemos mister, yo no puedo decir mister Antonio, ¿ya? Yeah? No es correcto decir eso. Neither I, es correcto decir mister Vidal, ¿ya? Yeah? No, entonces cuando usamos el Mr. damos el apellido de la persona. En este caso diríamos Mr. Machuca. Ya, yeah. eso es lo, lo correcto para decirlo Mr. Machuca. O cuando se decimos uh, Mrs. Yeah. Mrs. es la señora de. Yeah. Cuando decimos Mrs. por ejemplo si si eh, la persona está casada y tiene su esposa, ya yeah, entonces dice Mrs. Mrs. Machuca sería aquí. Mrs. Machuca, ¿ya? Yeah. Mrs. Machuca. Si se llama, por ejemplo, que se llamara Claudia, Claudia, si se llamara Claudia, Claudia uh, uh, Ramira, Ramira, de Machuca, si se llamara así, entonces... Esto de Machuca decía Mrs. Machuca. Ya. Yeah. Ese sería Mrs. Machuca. No le puedo llamar Mrs. Claudia o Mrs. Uh, Ramira. No le puedo llamar así porque no, no es correcto. La forma correcta sería decir el apellido. Mr. Machuca y Mrs. Claudia. ¿Ya? Yeah. Entonces, uh, cuando menciones uh, uh, Mr., acuérdate, Manfredi y. Uh, uh, Sí. ¿Cómo se llama? Emerson. Emerson, yes. Tiene que decir el apellido de la persona. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No el primer nombre, porque no es correcto. Solo cuando dice Miss, Miss, sí, usted dice el primer nombre de la persona. Miss, uh, Miss Senia. Yeah. Miss Senia. Uh, ahí sí mencionamos el primer nombre. Pero Mr. y Mrs. Mrs. es la señora de. Y Mr. es el señor. Entonces ahí mencionamos los apellidos. ¿Ok? ¿Estamos bien ahí? Ok, teacher. Ok, very good. Entonces, uh, vamos a ver. Eh, ahí vamos a poner Edgardo. Vamos a poner a uh, Senia. Eh, y quién más. Uh, María de Jesús. Sí. Y quién más. Sandra, are you there? Dennis, ¿puedes participar o no? Eh, por el momento no, teacher. No, ¿verdad? Ok. Eh, Giovanni Alexander, ¿estás ahí? Esta parece la música, la, la, la sombra. ¿Estás ahí, 
Ramona, no. Está así, Ajá. Giovanni. Sí. Sí puede participar. Ok. Entonces, uh, ustedes cuatro. Y, y vamos a agarrar a... ¿A quién? Eh, a Sandra Benítez. Uh, she is Sandra. She is in charge of purchases. Ok. Go ahead, please. Ok. Uh, I am mistake. Uh... I am Mr. John. I am Mario. Okay. I'm Leo. Okay. Hello, good morning. Are you Mr. Miss Diaz? Yes, I am. I am Miss P Mr. Pineda. I am the trainer, trainer, nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you, Mr. Pineda. Let me introduce the staff. This is uh, Giovanni. He is the branch manager and this is Margarita, Maria, Maria, eh? Maria de Jesus. Sí, Maria Jesus. Maria, are you there? Yes. Okay. <laughs> sí, como que me, me perdí. Yes, yes me perdieron. <laughs> <laughs> Perdón. Mm. Okay. Nice to meet you. I'm in, in charge of the kitchen stock. Great. Uh, Miss Miss Dia, what does the uh, what does the girl over there do? She is Sandra. She is in charge of purchases. Okay. ¿Y quién era Leo? Leo era María. <laughs> es que Marisa contestó por ajá. Uh -huh. Por Mario. Sí, por Mario. Por Giovanni. Uh -huh. se, 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 se. Ok, vamos a ver. Tengo Pineda, es uh, mis uh, mistakes. Sí. Eh, tengo Senia, es uh, John, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ok, y María va a ser quién? Lío. Lío, ok. Lo voy a apuntar aquí como Lío porque me puso otra cosa. Lío. <risa> Lío, que okay. este es Lío. Y, y uh, luego tenemos Mario. ¿Quién va a ser Mario? Giovanni. 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 Yo, ok, Giovanni. Ok, Mario. Ok, comencemos ahora. Pineda Tate, Sonia, uh, Senia John, María Lío y Giovanni Mario. Ok. Ok. Hello, good morning. Are you Miss Diaz? Yes, I am. I am Mr. Pineda. I am trainer. I am trainer. Nice to meet you. Hello, nice to Hello. meet you. Good morning. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Ah? <laughs> se metió interferencia. Es que, es que la señal es claro y claro se meten interferencias. Así que... <laughs> Hello, nice to meet you, Mr. Pineda. Let me introduce the staff. This is Giovanni. He is the branch manager and this is Maria. Well, nice, to meet, nice you. to meet you. Bye, Giovanni. Sí. <laughs> Maria, despiértese. Ay, no. Despiértese, despiértese. <laughs> Yo creo, yo creo que yo, yo la veo así con el perrito aquí en la cara así. no, 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 no entonces ¿qué pasa? Okay. es que cuando dice mi nombre creo que es mi línea no, pero usted, entonces me usted, digo mi única línea usted es Leo 
Sí. Ajá, usted es Leo. Entonces, en this is Leo. Entonces, usted va a contestar cuando dice Leo. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Mario. Y luego Tate. Le da la bienvenida a Mario. Nice to meet you, Leo. Okay. What do you do? Cuando dicen what do you do, ahí es donde entra usted. Si ve abajo donde dice Leo. Sí, ríe. sí, sí. Ok, sí. él dice Leo, ahí es donde va a entrar usted. Nice to meet okay. you. Ok. Corte, corte. <risa> <risa> ok. Empecemos otra vez. Uh, uh, Edgar. Okay. Hello, good morning. Are you Miss Diaz? Yes, I am. I am Mr. Pineda. I am trainer. Nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you. Mr. Pineda, let me introduce the staff. This is Maria. He's the branch manager and Maria is Leo. La Maria I, is, is perdón. Leo. This is Mario. He is the branch manager. Pero Mario, is, Mario Giovanni. Ajá, <laughs> ahí es donde yo me confundo porque dice sorry, mi sorry. nombre. No, es, es, es que, es que se, mire, ya, ya me contagió a Senia. Estaba bien. Okay. Hello. Nice to meet you, Mr. Pineda. Let me introduce the staff. This is Giovanni. He's the branch manager. And this is Maria. Okay. Very good. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Mario. Nice to meet you. Maria, I'm oh, sorry. Nice to meet you, Giovanni. Nice to, nice to meet you, Maria. What do you do? Nice to meet you too. I'm in charge of the kitchen stuff. Great. Uh, Mr. D, Ms. Diaz, what does the girl over there do? She's Sandra. She's in charge of purchases. Very good, very good. Ok, vamos a ver. Estuvo un poco confuso, confuso. Lo vamos a hacer otra vez, pero necesito, I need to explain something over here. Ok, mm -hmm. es acerca de, eh, de cuando dice gusto de conocerte. Por ejemplo, tenemos una, una, una conversación entre, entre Senia. Hello, hello, Senia. Uh, hello, uh, my name is Antonio. Antonio. Y yo le pregunto a ella, what is your name? Yeah. What is your name? Ella me contesta, I am, I am uh, Miss Senia. I'm Miss Senia. Ok. Y yo le digo, uh, I am Miss Senia. Y dice, nice to meet you. Meet you. Yes. Este nice to meet you es gusto de conocerte. Yeah. Y, y le digo nice, nice to meet you too. Yes, nice to meet you too. Yeah. Este es cuando nos conocemos, nos presentamos y dimos el nombre, es nice to meet you. Y seguimos hablando, ya yeah, seguimos hablando nosotros. Da, 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 da. Y entonces es tiempo de irnos, de, ya de despedirnos. Ok. Eh, well, thank you for everything. Y ahí nos despedimos. Y le digo, le digo, Miss, uh, Miss Senia. Miss uh, Senia. Senia. It was, it was nice meeting you. Yes. Ahí digo meeting you. Yeah. No digo it was nice to meeting you. Sino que it was nice meeting you. Eso es, fue un placer conocerte. Ese es conocerte, es porque ya, ya estuvo, ya me voy. Y yo le respondo, it was nice, it was nice meeting you too. Yeah. ¿Sí? Lo mismo, fue un placer verte conocido. ¿Sí? Pero ese meeting you es diferente a to meet you, meet you. Yeah, meet you too. Nice to meet you, cuando llegamos. Y nice meeting you fue, es cuando nos vamos, es la despedida. Entonces, 
haga la diferencia entre eso. Nice meeting you es porque ya no voy a platicar con esa persona y nice to meet you es cuando la conozco esa persona. Entonces, eh, vamos a ver eso en el diálogo que vemos aquí y lo vamos a, a analizar para que vea usted, vea. Aquí dice, dice, welcome, nice, nice to meet you. Y es, eso es que se acaban de comenzar a conocer, ¿verdad? Entonces le dice, nice meeting you. Y es, eso quiere decir que ya lo conoció, nice meeting you. Mario se, se, se despidió de Mario y empieza a hablar con quién. Nice to meet you, Leo. Y es, ahí ya no está hablando con Mario porque ya se despidió de Mario. Le dijo, nice meeting you. No le puede decir, nice to meeting you, Mario. Eh, Edgar, no, no le dice, nice to meeting you, sino que le dice, nice meeting you. Eso quiere decir que ya no va a hablar con él, sino que va a empezar con otra. Y se, vuelve, se da vuelta para la otra persona. Y dice, nice to meet you, Leo. What do you do? Empieza la conversación con Leo. Viene Leo, que en este caso es, es María, y le dice, nice to meet you, porque se acaban de conocer, ¿verdad? Nice to meet you. I'm in charge of the kitchen staff. Great. Y no se despiden nunca. Con quien se despidió fue de Mario. Ya, yeah. con él se despidió. Great. Mm. Mr. John, y ahí le pregunta, uh, en este caso es Mr. Uh, Pinel, Mr. John, the girl, what does the, the girl over there do? Oh, she's Yala, Yala, introduce that person. O sea, presenta a esa persona. Pero lo que quiero es que pongamos cuidado es nice to meet you y nice meeting you. Son dos cosas diferentes, no son iguales. Entonces trate de hacer esa diferencia. Nice meeting you y nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Es diferente, ¿ok? Vamos a ver si podemos uh, dominar eso, ¿ok? Empecemos, uh, a Pineda. Ok. Hello, good morning. Are you Miss Díaz? Mrs. Díaz, ¿eh? Yes, I am. I am Mr. Pineda. I am trainer. Nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you. Mr. Pineda, let me introduce the staff. This is Giovanni. He's the branch manager and this is Maria. Welcome, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Mario. Nice to meet you, I'm sorry. Nice meeting you, Giovanni. Nice to meet you, Maria. What do you do? Nice to, nice to meet you too. I'm I'm a church of the kitchen staff. Great. Oh, Miss Diaz, what does the girl over there do? She's Sandra. She's in charge of purchases. Purchases. Very good. Me gustó ese purchases, Cynthia. Very good. Sounds great. Okay. Ahora sí estamos bien. Very good. Ahora vamos a rotar. Eh, Pineda va a ser uh, John. Eh, Giovanni va a ser Tate. Eh, Senia va a ser Leo. Y María va a ser Mario. ¿Ok? Ok. Ok, let's do it. Okay. Yo sería Tate, dijo, ¿verdad, teacher? Sí, tú vas a ser Tate, Giovanni. Ok. Eh, Pineda y John, ¿verdad? ¿Cierto? Sí, ajá. Yes. Pineda sería John, ajá. Okay. Yes, uh -huh. Hello, good morning. Are you Mr. Pineda? Yes, I am. I am Mr. Ramos. I am the trainer. Nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you, Miss. Uh, well, what's your last name? Ramos. Okay. Uh, hello, nice to meet you, Mr. Ramos. Mm -hmm. Let me introduce the staff. This is Senia. She is the branch manager, and this is Le. This is Maria. Así sería, verdad? Maria. Maria. Mario. Maria es Mario. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> ya cambiamos. Okay. Sí. Uh, I repeat. Please. Uh, hello. Nice, nice to meet you. Miss, Mr. 
Ramos. Let me introduce the staff. This is Maria. She is the branch manager and this is senior. Welcome. Nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you, Maria. Nice to meet you, Senia. What do you do? Nice to meet you. I am in charge of the kitchen staff. Great. Oh, Mr. Pineda, what does the girl over there do? She is Sandra. She is the she is in charge of the purchase. Purchases. Purchases. Very good. Excellent. Good job. Oh. We we getting better. My goodness! Congratulations. Okay, now uh, Maria is gonna be Tate. Uh, Giovanni is gonna be John. Uh, Pineda is gonna be Leo. Is Senia is gonna be Mario. This is very complicated. <laughs> <laughs> very complicated. Yeah. Maria, Tate, Giovanni, yeah. John. Okay, Maria is eight. Giovanni is John. Eight. Yes, Pineda is uh, Liu, and Senia is Mario. Okay. okay. Hello. Good morning. Are you Mr. Giovanni? Mr. Ramos. Ram. Acuérdense, no se dice Mr. Ram. Uh, Giovanni. No se dice el primer nombre. Se dice el apellido. El apellido, ok. El apellido, se dice Mr. Pineda, ok. Voy a estar again. Please, please. Hello, good morning. Are you Mr. Pineda? I am Leo. <laughs> Mr. Ramos. El apellido de Giovanni es Mr. Ramos. <laughs> Ay, Dios. Mr. Ramos. <laughs> John es Giovanni. María, María, despierte, por favor. Es que yo no te Giovanni, mamá. Ok, se lo, se lo voy a repetir otra vez. María es Tate. Pero es que, es que usted me dio el nombre, no me dio el apellido. Usted ahora, me dijo Giovanni era es, John. Entonces, es, pero le digo, yo no te Giovanni. Ahora es la culpa. Pero de, los apellidos no los puedo. La culpa del teacher. Yes, ok. Vamos a ver. Sí. Okay. El teacher confused me. Sí, confused me. Ok. ¿Ya tiene el, el apellido de Ramos? De... Giovanni. Giovanni. Yeah. Eh, Ramos. Vaya. Ramos. Sí. Okay. ¿Qué otro apellido tengo que ocupar? No, ¿verdad? No hay otro apellido. Solo Giovanni. No, Ramos. Va. Los otros okay. son Mario y Leo. Ok. Hello, good morning. Are you Mr. Ramos? Yes, I am. I'm Miss Maria. I'm a trainer. Nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you, Miss Martinez. Let me introduce the staff. This is uh, Edgar, <laughs> creo. <laughs> sí. yeah. He's the branch manager. This is the <laughs> Senia era Mario y Pineda era Leo. O R. Mm -hmm. No sabía. Okay, okay, voy de nuevo. Hello, nice. Ah, bueno. Nice to meet you. Yes, go ahead. Hello, nice to meet you, Mr. Martinez. Let me introduce the staff. This is. Senia. <laughs> He's the branch manager. No, es, Senia es una Pineda. mujer. Senia es una mujer. He's the branch. Sin duda es un poco complicado esto de los nombres. Eh, es, 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 <risa> no, es que estamos trabajando muchas cosas aquí, muchas habilidades aquí. No te preocupes. Eh, es, es, está un poco complicado esto. Pero están haciendo muy bien. Ya, yeah. acuérdate que Senia es Mario. Y, y Pineda, okay. sí, y Pineda es Leo. Ok, voy. Hoy sí. Hoy sí. Hello, nice to meet you, Mr. Miss Martinez. Let me introduce the staff. This is Senia. 
She is the branch manager and the is Edgar. Welcome, nice to meet you. Nice meeting you, uh, Senia. Nice to meet you, uh, Pineda. Edgar. Nice to meet you. Edgar, yes. <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> nice to meet you. I am in charge of the kitchen staff. Correct. Oh, Mr. Ramos, what does the girl over there do? No, Eva Maria. Maria? Ah, sí, cierto. <laughs> is it, is it Adelante, Maria. Uh, great. Oh, Mr. Mr. Ramos, what does the girl over there do? She's Nitha. She's in charge of purchases. Purchases, very good. And era Nitha, era otra. Pero bien, no, no hay problema, tranquilo. Ok, en la última, como Senia no ha hecho, no ha, no ha, no ha hecho Tate, o le toca a ella hacer Tate, María va a ser John, eh, Giovanni va a ser eh, Leo y Pineda va a ser Mario. Espérenme, 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 salto. Ok. <risa> Ok. Senia uh, va a ser Tate. Okay. Ajá, okay. María va a ser John. Giovanni va a ser Leo. Y Pineda va a ser Mario. Ok. Ok. Hello, good morning. Are you. Mr. Martin, Mrs. Mrs. Ms. Martinez. Yes, I am. I am Miss Diaz. I am the trainer. Nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you. Uh, Miss uh, Diaz. Uh, me perdí. Sí, 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 está bien. Sí. Voy bien. Sí. Mis días, let me introduce the staff. This is, um, mis, this is Mr. Pinel. Ok. Yeah. He's the branch manager in the, in this is uh, Giovanni. Giovanni, yes. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you, Edgar. Nice to meet you, Giovanni. What do you do? Nice to meet you. I, I am in the chairs of the kitchen staff. Great. Oh, Mr. Miss Martinez. What does that girl over there do? She is Nisa. She is in charge of poor charges. Very good. My goodness. Excellent. Good job. Yeah, yeah we did it. We did it. Yes. We yeah, are the man. champions, <laughs> my friend. And we. Toda la nota del curso, ya. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> sí, María. Very good. Yeah, we did it. We después, did de, it. después de esta tortura, no más participaciones en la semana. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's getting complicated, a little bit complicated, but you es... are it's, uh, wonderful. You guys are marvelous. I'm, uh, I'm surprised. <laughs> yes, very good. Outstanding. Outstanding. Very good. Okay, let me call roll. And uh, then uh, we call the night. I have uh, Carlos Antonio. Okay, uh, Cesar Manfredi. I'm here. Thank you, Dennis Vladimir. Present. Thank you, Edgar Edemir Pineda. Present. Thank you, Edwin Alexis Rodriguez. Present. Thank you, Emerson Eli. Emerson, no. Okay, uh, Eric Armando Flores. Present. Okay, and Esmeralda Noemi Lopez. All right, uh, Giovanni Alexander Ramos. 
Present. Thank you, Emer Alberto Sanchez. Present. Thank you, Jacob De Jesus Gomez. Present. Teacher. Thank you, Jonathan Salvador Zavala Zuniga. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, see. Jorge Alberto Rellana Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you. Present teacher. Julia Margarita Chicas, no. Eh, María Jesús Martinez López. Present. Thank you. Eh, Mario Osvaldo Martinez. Present. Thank you. Melissa Esther Orellana Rivas. Present, dear. Thank you. Sandra Janet Benitez Berrios. Present. Thank you. And Senia Judith. Present. Thank you. Wilfredo Antonio Luna. Present. Thank you. Anybody I didn't call? Alguno que no haya llamado? Todos, ok, muy bien, excelente. Entonces, uh, hoy le toca Giovanni Alexander Ramos uh, para quedarse los 10 minutos. Giovanni, ok. The rest of you, I see you tomorrow and it was a wonderful the class. Uh, thank you for the participation. All right, have a good night and I see you tomorrow, all of you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye, bye-bye. Hello, Giovanni. Hola, teacher. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Hello. Hello, how are you? So, todo bien, teacher. <laughs> ¿Estás trabajando ahorita o? Sí, no trabajo, pero, pero sí, tengo el tiempecito para. Sí, te quedo, te quedo. Eh, te tocó sí. trabajar late. Are you at work or at home? Toca trabajar en el work. Oh, ok. Sí. Ok, ¿cómo sentiste el, el, el ejercicio? Eh, <ríe> lo complicado, los nombres, la verdad. Sí. Pero nada de otro mundo. Sí. Yeah. Eh, eso es lo sí, de igual forma. Siempre repaso las conversaciones. Sí, ve, el, el objetivo de este ejercicio que lo hice, el objetivo por lo cual lo hice es porque para que ustedes ya no se estén uh, uh, concentrando en el, en el lenguaje, porque eso es, he notado yo que cuando Entiendo. se concentran en el lenguaje, entonces empiezan a traducir. Y si te diste cuenta, en este ejercicio nadie estuvo traduciendo, porque estaban pensando Cierto. en la tarea, no en el lenguaje. Yeah. Entonces estoy probando sí. nuevas metodologías para ayudarles más que todo para que su cerebro empiece a estructurarse en la lengua de inglés. Por eso es que lo viste así y lo sintieron. Hey, teacher, eso está complicado. Sí, porque se concentraron en eso, <risa> en la tarea, no en el lenguaje. Nadie me dijo nada del lenguaje. Nadie, nadie me, me, me dijo, mire, teacher, ¿y esto qué es? ¿Y esto qué quiere decir? Nadie, absolutamente nadie. Ajá, Pero, cierto. Todos se concentraron en, el, en hacer la tarea. Entonces, no, eso es lo que vamos a estar practicando de hoy en adelante, Giovanni, para ayudarles eh, en eso de, sí. de, de evitar traducir ya, que ya se quiten de traducir y poco a Entiendo. poco, poco a poco que ustedes vayan estructurándose a la lengua inglesa, poco a poco, poco a poco, y lo vamos a lograr. Dime, ¿qué piensas de las clases, Giovanni? Bien. Pues a mí me parece bien, la verdad, la metodología. Eh, teoría primera parte y, y práctica del libro en la segunda. Sí, uh -huh. eh, ha trabajado, he visto mucha participación. Sí, realmente no me quejo. Sí, he visto mucha participación en el grupo, este es uno eh, de los mejores grupos que he tenido por la participación, eh, eh, aunque algunos estén cansados y lleguen con problemas del trabajo, siempre participan y eso es lo bueno, participar porque es la única sí. forma como uno puede aprender. Sí, la verdad sí. Y dime Giovanni, eh, 
¿Dónde aprendiste ese inglés? Porque tiene buen acento. Eh, aprender, aprender. No creo porque eh, fueron unos módulos nada más en la universidad, pero de ahí mm. hasta la fecha <ríe> hemos tomado la, la iniciativa de este curso. De ahí mm. más nada. Pero es que el acento que tienes no es, eh, es un acento norteamericano, Giovanni. ¿Y de dónde lo escribiste? ¿Te gusta, ¿Te gusta cantar o qué es lo que haces? Realmente no, incluso soy poco de hablar, la verdad. Sí. No es que no me guste participar en la clase, sino que a veces es porque estoy un poco ocupado, por eso es que mayormente paso de oyente, pero... En el tiempo que no estoy ocupado y no estoy participando, estoy leyendo. Por ejemplo, en este caso que están leyendo las conversaciones, uh -huh. yo hago los dos personajes y la paso leyendo, sí, dependiendo de la pareja que pase o sea, okay. a hacer el ejercicio. Sí, o sea, lo repaso las veces que ellos lo hacen. Uh -huh. En okay. resumidas cuentas. Ajá. Ahí está, ahí está el secreto. Ahí está el secreto. Sí, al menos, al menos presto bastante atención. Uh -huh. Sí, de, de eso se trata. O sea, aunque no estés... Uh -huh. Eh, así físicamente participando pero en tu, en tu propio tiempo estás participando en la clase y de eso se trata eso se llama shadowing sí. lo que estás haciendo en inglés uh -huh. se llama shadowing shadowing es cuando eh, okay. tú, otra persona está haciendo está hablando y tú estás a la par de esa persona repitiendo lo que esa persona está haciendo y eso es eh, una exacto, técnica. justo eso hago y esa es una técnica perfecta, eso es lo que le digo yo a los estudiantes cuando me dice teacher, ¿y qué hago para empezar a, a, a mejorar mi pronunciación y todo eso? Le digo, pruebe shadowing, shadowing. Consígase unos, unos diálogos en el internet o, o unos cuentos y vaya contando el cuento a la parte de la persona que está uh, narrando el cuento. Ya cuando llegue usted al nivel de esa persona, olvídese ya, usted va a ser una amenaza. Y sí, eh, se ve el, el avance. Entiendo. Entonces, eso. Y es... para mejorar la, 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 ¿cómo se llama? La redacción ya en escrito, porque considero de que lo más difícil para mí es el hecho de escribir. Ok. Eh, eso sería lo más complicado. Eso lo que necesitas empezar, eh, Giovanni, es en las estructuras. Por ejemplo, empezar a escribir oraciones eh, simples, ¿verdad? De tiempo Ajá. simple. En, en el uh, simple present. Empezar a hacer uh, como okay. rutinas. I brush my teeth uh, at seven o'clock in the morning. I have my, my breakfast at... Uh, todo lo que tú haces, las rutinas que vas haciendo, uh -huh. y las escribiendo. Yes, y las escribiendo okay. poco a poco. Yes. Después ya te pasas a dos oraciones. Yes. I brush my teeth at 7 a.m. in the morning and at 8 o'clock I have my breakfast. Ya alargaste más la oración, ¿sí? Y poco a poco vas teniendo sí. más información, más información, al modo que se vaya escuchando como una historia. ¿sí? También lo que, le enseño, lo que le enseño a los niños yo para las redacciones es uh, uh -huh. les empiezo a que ellos dibujen algo, ¿sí? Cuando ellos dibujan, por ejemplo, les digo, ok, vamos a dibujar un paseo a la playa, ¿sí? Desde que usted sale de su sí. casa hasta que llega a la playa, diga, eh, dibuje qué es lo que ve, qué es lo que hace. Ya dibujan ellos eh, subiéndose al, al, al microbús o subiéndose al carro o yendo atrás de un pickup, dibujan ellos eso. Luego que pasan por el, uh -huh. a, a comer pupusas por holocuiltas, dice, ponen holocuilta ahí y escriben. La, entonces... <risa> Todo eso, después, el segundo paso es, ahora, escriba en oraciones cortas todo eso, lo que usted ve, lo que dibujó, ¿sí? Y esa es la historia, y así es como empiezan a redactar, a redactar, a redactar. Ya después eh, vienen eh, los estilos de escritura, ¿verdad? Porque no te vas a meter sí. en eso antes de aprender a escribir primero lo más básico. Ya después uh -huh. viene Per, eh, eh, redacciones persuasivas, informativas, pero ya eso ya es ya después que uno aprende ya a escribir. Ya. No te vayas a, a, esa, a, esa, a esa escritura porque te vas a confundir y te vas a decepcionar porque me, que no puedo. Sí, entiendo, entiendo. Sí, empieza con cosas pequeñitas, o sea, párrafos, okay. oraciones. ¿ya? Ese es mi okay. consejo para ti, Giovanni. ¿Ok? Sí, entendido.
All right. Entonces, Giovanni, it was nice talking to you and uh, thanks uh, for your time. Okay. Thank you, igualmente, teacher. Good okay. night. Have a good night. Bye bye. Bye bye.